Let me just get this bag a minute. I've got something to show you guys. Look at, look at the size of this bag. Look at the size of this bag. How big is that bag? <laughs> What's in the bag, Joff? I'm not telling you yet. I'm going to uh, tell you the story to start with, but I'm going to put my little bag, big bag, up there on the bed, and I'll uh, come back to that in a minute. When I was actually purchasing these items, the lady on the, the counter said, oh, doing up your house? And I'm kind of like, yeah, kind of. Um, yeah, it's for my uh, French cottage. And she's like, you've got, a, you've got a cottage in France? I'm like, I've, I've actually got a cottage in France. I've got a villa in Spain. I've got a villa in Portugal. I've got a ski lodge up in the mountains. Um, I've got a um, city apartment in various cities scattered all over Europe. And she was like going, wow, that's incredible you're joking I'm like well I've actually got a motor home and that's what it does for you you take your house where you want to put it <laughs> and she was kind of like my god I've never even uh, thought of it that way and I said that's how I think of my motor home um, and that's what the way you got to think of it guys you know forget all your spanish property and all that you know where that that's not our genre whatsoever our genre is motorhomes and basically i've always looked at it like that you park your house where you want to uh, live for a few days whether it be a short amount of time and the view how many times have we done the room with a view every time the views that we've had at the windows of this motorhome are just where do you go? <laughs> Up in the mountains, down on the coast, in the city, just so many absolutely incredible locations. That's where you take your motor home. Um, and well, the other thing we, we were sort of like, so I've been um, out doing a bit of shopping today and uh, we're always, uh, we're getting the car and we're always like talking about, we're always talking about <laughs> um, oh, motor home life and what we're going to, you know, things we're going to do um, to our van. What, how, how, can, how can we ever, how can we ever get any better than this? How can we ever like get any better? And uh, I just, I was thinking today, um, back when we were getting ready, to get this motor room sorted out uh the conversations were literally um oh my god we're gonna have a there's, good, there's a window in the door in there there's a, definitely a window in the door there's a window in the door we wanted a window in the door there were so many little things um we wanted the l-shaped lounge we wanted this beautiful little lounge um we wanted a seven meter motorhome and uh, we always like to tell people but like, people say like what you know what is the best what is the best layout joff and it's it's entirely the individual's choice uh, for the first thing you've got to consider is how many people do you want to take in your motorhome with you are you taking um one child two children a whole family this is not going to do the job. <laughs> this, is, this, this is seven meters. It's a luxury, probably a, 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 a literally a luxury two berth motorhome. Um, and it is still squeezed in the seven meter. And that's the other thing that we wanted. We wanted to try and keep within the seven meter length of a, of a, of a motorhome. Once you start going over the seven, seven meter, um, yeah, for, for us, the seven meters has worked out perfectly. And uh, so all that kind of planning and we're talking about nearly four and a half years down the road now with this motorhome and we are still like, this is the best motor room for us without a doubt this is the best motor room for us and we all them conversations of the window in the door the swing all oh, the beds at the back the the bathroom that swings around to gain you the space uh, for your shower cubicle um, there are so many people that do not use their shower cubicles we you know how many times we I, I beat on about this shower cubicle in this it's just the best thing you're in there three minutes three minutes and then you're out again and then it can so 
two of you, six minutes, you're done and dusted. It's back into a full size bathroom again. And uh, it just works so well. The other thing that we uh, insisted from the word go was the um, the LPG, the rechargeable LPG. We wanted that rechargeable LPG. We were going off on uh, motorhome trips and getting concerned about how much gas we were consuming with our bottles. We was like, is that going to be enough gas? We'll take some extra bottles in the back, you know, and, and you don't want to be sort of carrying them too many in your garage and things, you know. But, um, but that is the other thing. And uh, carrying uh, um, gas bottles, propane bottles removing them all the time going to get refills re-putting them in your locker them help them gas low containers them cylinders have never been out of this motor home it's been hot water dink on the button heat in on the button dunk um, and it's just one of the best things ever so uh, we t we totally recommend the LPG there there's always that kind of there's always speculation um, and again uh, in the conversation today uh, we follow motor own forums and we f particularly the Bursner brand we, we follow stories related to this style of motor home. and to be honest um, it would be really Really, really good. I, I'm forever portraying the positives, and so, we, so with this motor home, we've been so lucky. There's been issues with other people that have had issues, and them kind of issues only the the bad issues are only seems to be the ones that come to light on these Facebook groups. Um, us, we have had one we had an issue with the uh, PCB um, board the printed circuit board in the fridge which obviously is a Thetford part we had one of them in the early days it just uh, um, went a bit um, yeah but apart from that we have had um, no issues no major issues maybe some screws being tightened up the window blind you know what i mean just a, a few little th to be honest it's a lot of it's um i can be quite heavy-handed <laughs> so, you know and uh, yeah you people you, you know the score and um whatever you deal with in this day and age now believe it or not whether you're dealing with luxury yachts i i remember a story someone saying to me um who worked for a luxury yacht manufacturer joff we still get people coming back and saying they've got exhaust fumes in the cabins <laughs> I'm like, yeah yeah um we have a slight vibration thousands and thousands and thousands of pounds where whatever direction you go in um you 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 know what it's like it's never um completely smooth there's <laughs> yeah a, along the way you always get a bit of a wave and and sometimes it just and so yeah it's probably like the sea you know it's like the sea you know how much, much i love going down to the sea and occasionally bah, 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 battering against uh, everything uh, battering against the system and then all of a sudden it just go steady and I think that is a, a life pattern with um, everything uh, whether it be um, everything that's that moves down to the door you know we see door handle catches getting broken and and things like that and um, you know yeah maybe we're just um, super lucky um, the bur this this bursner this is one thing that I just sort of like love um, I have actually re-tightened that before because it um, occasionally comes loose the amount of times we uh, open it and obviously the amount of time you spend in your motorhome like us we spend a lot of time in a motorhome and uh, but um, it is just the best environment this this environment of this motorhome is just like so nice and we used to sit in it when it when it arrived at um, Chelster motorhomes at Wellington we literally used to go up on a Sunday because it was like right it's here oh my god we we were just sitting we were lying on the bed we were like sitting in the seats with the blinds down looking at the vi looking at the vision looking at ah oh, luck my goodness me we were and and four and a half years down the line and we are still absolutely passionate about this vehicle and um 
believe it or not, um, the kind of investment factor, um, you know, the price of motorhomes at the moment, um, there's always, again, this kind of like wave of like other prices going down, they're going up, you know. Like, but um, at the end of the day, um, we know the prices of like new Bursners now, and compared to the price of this one that we purchased, um, they have uh, gone up a, a, a big bar. Um, just going back to the vehicle now, um, and you know, like I say, Pete, I'm, I just like generally talking about specific you know the specifications of one of them other things that we wanted with this particular vehicle is the automatic gearbox the automatic gearbox is just so easy to use you can you you know the score manually if you want to motor, motorway slip road get the get the revs up manually change it get there flick it into auto and off you go and it it literally takes the fatigue out of the driving totally um it's and that was the other thing we've got window in the door <laughs> the gas low the automatic gearbox oh my goodness me the vision of this the windows so again we we were um considering we were considering a a class style they did an a class in this um styly exactly the same layout but obviously at the front end is the a class setup uh one big concern that i'd always had with the a class big windscreen i loved it for the vi the vision is incredible but personally from our point of view the miles that we travel and um you know and we do rack on occasionally not all the time you know it's not <laughs> bending the needle but um the big concern was that windscreen that massive windscreen if we are in albania you can get a fiat ducato windscreen if you are in italy you're in italy you're going to get a fiat ducato windscreen and not too expensive but when it comes to the big bit of unusual shaped glass and you are in an obscure place trying to source one of them you could have a problem so um and we we do we we sit we've seen this quite often uh we was actually um told the other day we know some people that had a relatively new a-class motorhome and uh on their almost a maiden voyage i believe picked up stone ship that almost had a so that's what you know that is one thing that is it's just kind of like them things you know and that's where i, I kind of like emphasize the fact that um things like that happen and uh, you cannot change that you know you just got to be uh, super careful it can it can just like you know things like that just like change things dramatically um and that's i'm always beating on again about the spare wheel carrier underneath had so many kind of people um over since we sort of did the video of um the underslung spare wheel at the back how many people have gone Joff, thank you so much. That that is like great information. Carry your spare wheel. If you tip, if, if you get a problem on the, we we just saw a guy on the M5 uh, with a car and uh, he is on the off side of the vehicle on the front of the vehicle and the visibility on the motorway today it was minimal uh, he was on the other side of the motorway changing his wheel and we were like oh my goodness me and uh, just as that was happening we were discussing the fact that how many cars are actually driving with no lights on and uh, how many people are going so beware uh, any problems out on the side of the motorway guys make sure you get your high vis jacket on you got your warning triangle if you're really concerned just get over that barrier wait for the highways to turn up get your cordoned off um, it's never ever worth it it's a split second and worst scenario ever so um 
yeah, the spare wheel underneath. But if, if you've got it, even if you um, if you've got the capabilities and if even if you've got the wheel, even if a garage comes out and you're not actually physically in shape to undo the wheel nuts and get it jacked up and stuff like that, um, you are more likely to get yourself out of the stem if you've got a spare wheel with you that can be, uh, you know, and, and there's always people like me that if you if you're in trouble, I'm going to help you. Um, and that's what it's all about, you know. Um, but yeah, apart from that, um, so uh, yeah, that so the window and the door, the automatic gearbox, the gas low, the <laughs> the the Remis blinds. Oh my God, it's got Remis blinds. <gasps> Oh, so no more putting little wind fills around the glass at the front. That's what we used to do, wasn't it? <laughs> Stick them on with them little rubber suckers. Just pull the Remis blinds around and you are going to bed. Do you know what I mean? Um, that was another excellent... Hey, have I got, have I, have I, do you want to see what's in that bag? I'm going to get the bag out. Look at the size of that bag. Oh my goodness me. Anyway, the first thing you're probably going to know what I'm going to pull out of the bag is the sheepskin rug. Look at that. Uh, for anybody that doesn't know, we had two of these and uh, Caroline tried to, um, tried to wash them together the other day and uh, it turned out to be a mismatch. It was a, it was um, a learning curve. But this is the um, sheepskin rug we put between the, the beds. So um, we are super excited. I'm just going to, uh, let's get that back there. Look. It just... Serious? Serious, my ski lodge? Okay, come back and have a look then. Look at this. So, uh, Caroline will probably strain it all up for me. I've just dumped it in there. But there we go, look. That beautiful... From John Lewis, no messing around. We, uh, yeah, we made the mistake of um, getting that uh, kind of bearskin style, and it wasn't. This is total quality. Oh, look at it. Let's just have a look at the back. Where's the label? Oh, customer calling back for it. Yeah, so uh, I got it on there. There he is, like sheepskin rug from John. Ah, oh, and uh, there she is. But it just it just makes the back of the van between the beds nice. We get a wooden tray out in the morning, put your coffee on there. Lovely. Right, I've kept you in suspense long enough. So what we've actually got, um, so we've got these cushions here on the lounge at the moment. Uh, they're perfect. Not bad. Um, they need a bit of a wash. Caroline wanted to wash these. And uh, so, yeah, there's a couple of, couple of marks on where we've been splashing rum and Bacardi all over the place. Some of our wild parties. Do you know what it's like on a Saturday night in Mo Hotel Adventureland? But uh, anyway, yeah, so um, them ones there are going to the laundry. Okay, so we've ended up... Da, 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 da. Let me just... We've got some... Beautiful cushions. Oh, look at that. A little bit of orange in here for the uh, the Dutch influence -y kind of like, but it just, uh, I spotted these and I'm kind of like, do you know what? That is looking so nice. That one down there. Two of these monster cushions. Oh, look at that. What do you think? Yeah, so the backs have got a, like a, almost like a match in with the brown. And uh, I just sort of spotted these and I thought they just are lovely, colorful, and uh, they just, they're going to just make the lounge so nice again while we're having the others washed. <laughs> 
but um, these now are my favorite ones <laughs> I, uh, oh they're just so nice so nice but at the end of the day it's all about um, you know like I said to the lady it's our uh, ski lodge our everything our motorhome deserves these cushions and there we go in the lounge new cushions plenty of color look at that i'm a happy bunny how much more luxury can you get than this um you know maybe a uh, nice uh, handy drink but um yeah but um, we so this weekend we've had a bit of a weekend off we're still sort of like doing our logistics and uh, getting a few things sorted out but um, so I said to Caroline at the end of the day we have not paid for uh, a campsite and um, for two nights possibly so uh, we have splashed out um, probably let's just have a look on the uh, label on here uh, these are 35 pounds so what we saved on a campsite we have got some beautiful luxury cushions to uh, enjoy on our next adventure so while we're talking about the list of the window in the door the LPG, everything else that I've mentioned earlier on. The one of the other things, believe it or not, was a cutlery drawer. It's even got a cutlery drawer. These simple things in life, honestly. But a, a decent cutlery drawer that you can access easily, where all your cutlery is in there, all your little kitchen. You know what we're like with motorhomes. We just like like I say and the planning that went into this motorhome and uh, I think I, I just I put these visit videos out there guys to inspire other people and uh, it's really rewarding for me um, to hey, so just for the record we've ju just hit uh, in the week I think it was 1.6 million views on YouTube incredible achievement we've just um, scraped I've just checked checked my um, subscriptions and it is just turned 4,900 subscribers um, I can't thank you guys enough for like um, commenting watching our videos and basically the biggest reward for me guys is just passing on the information um, I just love passing on that information and people come back to me and say Joff you've like inspired me um, you've actually turn the tables around from me my wife actually wants to get a motorhome now and go you know you've that for me is the most rewarding thing on the planet and um you know like I say guys that's what i kind of like we, we are passionate people about our motorhome life and uh, you know we've we've had this uh, conversation so many times about the passion how enthusiastic joff you're so enthusiastic mate we are enthusiastic because we just love this life and uh, when you love the life you are enthusiastic about it uh, and uh, and all we can do is try and pass on that good information to people and um hopefully get rewarded and have some incredible memories make great memories with your motorhome stuff like that so we from me and caroline we just like can't thank you enough guys for watching our videos and um making them comments it's it means so much guys and um thank you very much and i'm gonna end the video with there i think and uh but guys if there's any other things that you want to know about <laughs> you know oh we, we always get these questions Joe, you know and um even if it's down to them kind of simple things like changing the headlight bulb we get um i get comments all the time about you oh you you, you made it so easy and i managed to like do it myself and uh, and i've got some more little projects coming up in the not too distant future hopefully it's going to be um equally uh easy to follow little uh, yeah so um keep an eye out guys and uh, i just you know I'm, it's Sunday afternoon, I haven't got a lot, I'm just going to go and a video now, so uh, we'll catch you soon, bye.